I wanted to talk about an attitude of dominion. And the definition of dominion means sovereignty, superior, authority, ruler, and having power over something. And in the Bible, it talks about how God gives us dominion. He gives us power. He gives us authority over things. So in Luke 10, 17 through 20, I'm reading from the Amplified Amplified, uh, Version. It says, The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan falling like a lightning flash from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample. Hold on a second. To trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are enrolled in heaven. And the next scripture is Ephesians six twelve, And it says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces for this present darkness against the spiritual forces of the wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. So when you're dealing with the world, the enemy, he is warring against you. He's trying to take the meaning of your emotions, your mind, and your finances. He's trying to hold you in bondage to your past by plaguing you with shame. He tries to abort the mission, the promise that's over your life. And he wants you to feel abandoned. He wants you to feel rejected and worthless. But we know that the devil is a liar. God has given us dominion over every issue of your life. And when you understand dominion, your attitude changes. You speak differently to sickness and disease. You wake up different. You walk different. It's just something that you know about God and knowing that God has your back. And no matter what kind of hell that you're going through or whatever's coming your way, you're going to be ready to take it full on once you understand the power of dominion. And the way that you get this attitude of dominion, you have to carry the word of God in your mouth because nothing happens until you speak it. You have to learn how to embrace that God's grace it's sufficient, it's sufficient enough for you. It's made perfect in your weakness. And then you also have to believe that all of heaven is backing you up and the angels are fighting for you. You learn, you have to learn how to press in the spirit through prayer. And lastly, you have to serve notice to the enemy that his time is up. And I don't know who this is for, I don't know who this is for, but the one thing I want to say is that whatever is terrorizing you, whatever is coming against you, whatever the enemy thinks that he has a hold on you, it's a lie. It's time It's time for you to serve notice to the, the enemy that he no, he no longer has power over you. He no longer has authority over you. That God has given you a spirit to have dominion, to have power at all costs. So I'm going to go in prayer, but I'm going to ask that God that the Holy Spirit has his way. That the Holy Spirit shows up and leads us and it'll be less of us and more of God. It will be less of us and no distraction. Less of us and just allowing God in his presence to show up. So Father God, I come to you being humble. I come to you because, God, you have called us for such a time as this, God. You have called us for a time of prayer. You have called us to be your warriors. You have called us to speak your word, God. So, Lord God, even in the midst of all of this and the things that's going on, God, Lord God, you wanted to activate dominion in your people. You wanted to activate dominion and power and sovereignty in your people, Lord. 
God, you have trusted us with this word for this week. You have trusted us and you have given us a new song and a new dance, God, that we're able to go before your people to spread the goodness of who you are, God. But God, I come to you and I say, God, please forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our ways. Forgive us of things that we do not know, God. And Lord God, please purify this prayer and purify our minds and our hearts and our soul towards you, God. Because God, there's someone right now that's struggling with the spirit of abandonment. There's someone who's struggling with the spirit of rejection. There's someone struggling to know that at the end of the day, they have dominion over their problems. They have dominion over their finances. They have dominion over the relationships that they're in. They have dominion to break generational curses. They have dominion to break every soul tie that's keeping them bound. God, I ask that the fire of God, I ask that your spirit will burn up the spirit of shame. I pray that whatever these people have done in their past, that the enemy will no longer hold it above their heads, God. I pray right now, God, that even now that our past will be wiped clean. And that, God, that you will allow us to forgive ourselves as if you, as you have forgiven us, God. So, God, I thank you for your glory. I thank you for your power, God. And, Lord God, I even thank you for the person on this phone call that's in the military, God. We lift her up right now, God, that you will continue to protect her and keep her. God, we thank you, Lord, that you're the hedge of protection and the angels are around her. I thank you that you will protect her mind and keep her right now in the name of Jesus, God. Lord God, I thank you for your people, God, that if anybody is dealing with the spirit of sickness, the spirit of disease, that God, that their words will speak your word, that the word will be Jeremiah 30, 17, where you said, I will restore health unto you. And God, I pray that these people who are dealing with sickness, that every day that they will come to you, God, and say, by his stripes, I am healed. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. My body is healed. My mind is healed, God. So God, we thank you for healed bodies. We thank you for renewed spirits. We thank you for the spirit of depression being broken right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, I thank you that even the strongholds, the strongholds, the building, the blocks that's in some of these people's lives that God is moving them out the way right now in the name of Jesus, God. But the one thing that you request is that they keep moving forward, that they wake up every day with dominion, that they wake up every day with strength in their voice, that they wake up every day with a purpose and a sign to know that you are Lord of Lord and King of Kings. God, we thank you, God. That everything that is holding us back, that God, you are breaking it right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for cleaning up the bloodline. I thank you for what our grandmothers and our grandfathers did in the past. That it will no longer hang over our heads. It will no longer be the name that's on our family. God, we thank you for all things in Christ Jesus. Lord, we just even thank you that you have given us life and breath today, God. We thank you that you woke us up and we were in our right mind. And if somebody wasn't in their right mind today, God, I pray that you would be the spirit of peace and comfort, God. Because no, no weapon, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon. The spirit of depression cannot hold you. The spirit of depression must be broken right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the, we plead the blood of Jesus over the spirit of depression. God, even the spirit of anxiety that's going through this, this call right now, God. I pray that it be broken right now in the name of Jesus, God. And even the terrorizing spirits that come in the middle of the night, God, I pray that God, if we counsel right now in the name of Jesus, God, that somebody's going to get a good night's sleep, that rest is going to come upon their body, that their spirit will be renewed. But God, we pray and we ask that these people will seek your faith because you ask us to seek your faith, seek your faith, God. And seeking your faith means getting in the word. Seeking your faith means that we have to understand who you are and build a relationship with you, God. So I pray that relationships will be formed through this call. I pray that, God, that your warriors will be stronger, God. I pray that they will start their own prayer calls and that they will pray for others and that, God, that they will go forth and spread the good news of who you are and who Christ is, God. Because 
because sometimes we're the only Christ that people see in this world right now, God. So I ask you, God, for your glory and your presence to show up in their houses. I pray that, Lord God, even with your presence, when your presence shows up, things change. And when things change, God, that means that things have to go into order. Because, God, you said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, God. And we just thank you for ordered steps. God, I ask for the spirit of protection to be over everyone's houses. That Psalms 91 will be fulfilled in these people's lives, God. That nothing will come where they dwell. No pet, no plague, nor accident will come near them. God, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, God, that is over our life, that is sealed with us. I thank you that God, that even now with the government, that Lord God, that you would give the government, that the people, the leaders, God, that you would give them direction and correction god lord god we know who we have in office god but like you said in the word that the government will be on jesus shoulders so god i pray that the spirit of influence will hit the government's life right now god lord god i pray that everything will be instrumental in the days to come i pray that the coronavirus will be burnt up god and will be sent back to the pits of hell but i pray that even now in the midst of this quarantine in this midst of solidarity god i pray that God, that your people would get closer to you and that even when they walk out of this situation, that they'll still hold on to you and hold on to your presence and hold on to your name and hold on to your word, God. Because for some of us, we're holding on to a word, Lord. We're holding on to a word that we just can't let go. We're holding on to a word that you're our peace. We're holding on to the word that you're our righteousness. We're holding on to the word that you are the healer. We're holding on to the word that you're a provider, God, that you're going to come through. We're holding on to the word that you said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. We're holding on to a word, God. We're holding on to a word. That God, that Jesus is the way. He's the truth. He's the light. He will not fail us because God there's no failure inside of you it, it doesn't even make sense for you to fail right now God so I got I pray that for answer for for anybody who has an answer who has a prayer that God that you will meet that prayer that you will answer that prayer if there's something that I haven't covered on this call I pray to God that you will cover it right now I pray that relationships be re- be restored I pray that hearts will be mended And that you would give us a heart of flesh. And I pray against the spirit of bitterness and rage and anger, God. That, Lord God, that right now, whoever's dealing with the spirit of anger and rage and bitterness, that, God, that it will cast it down. Because that weight and that pressure will no longer hold you down. We ask that the spirit of bitterness and anger go out the door right now in the name of Jesus. We ask that you give your people a spirit, a flesh, a flesh, a fleshy heart, God. That, Lord God. That nothing will be withheld from your people, God. Their resources will be restored, God. Their money will be restored, God. Their bills will be paid. That nobody on this call will lack anything. No one will lack anything. No one will lack anything in Jesus' name. I pray that these words will penetrate your people. And that they will speak your word, God. They will speak that they're they're the head and not the tail. They will speak that they are covered through you and for you God so God I thank you for your glory I thank you for your power I ask that the angels cover cover us God and keep us Lord I thank you God for all things in Christ Jesus Lord and I just thank you for just giving us this opportunity to praise your name and just God just to love you and that and for us to be able to feel your presence God in in Jesus name I pray amen God just thank you Lord for everything God thank you Jesus